Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with an, yet another video review, and if you read the title of this video, you probably figured that out. And this time I am reviewing the DIA Commander. DIA or DIA, I'm never good with acronyms, but anyway. Basically, it's the Japanese, Japanese, Asia market exclusive version of the powered convoy commander set that they gave at TFCon. Um, the story behind this is people were really, really angry when this was available in the United States um, because it was supposed to be only overseas because it, when brought over to the United States, this depreciates the value of the TFCon exclusive limited run. However, the TFCon does ha want version does have a lot more going, oh, some extra features going for it. For example, it has like a whole red side. Um, it's got this little suitcase with energon bits in it. Um, that that's kind of cool. But you know, in my collector, I didn't go to TFCon. This is the next best thing. So I am glad I was able to obtain one here in the United States. Uh, there's a lot of people not. Anyway. So, this is based on the Ultra Magnus add-on set. Um, they call him DIA Commander, or as far as it's kind of like um, a powered commander version of the set. And it's designed to make him look like the die clone version of Ultra Magnus, which was Optimus Prime painted blue with Magnus' trailer in Optimus Prime colors. So, this would look really cool with a blue Optimus Prime, I think. However... It's still pretty cool. Um, this one is designed for the Japanese version, which I actually do have the Japanese version of Prime here. This is the Henke Optimus Prime. I believe this is the reissue, not the uh, first one, but whatever. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's got the metallicness up here, the uh, chrome to match the bumper and front of the truck. And also has the chrome up here. Also nice. Um, doesn't have any motion as far as this goes, this turning ability. So it's got that same limitation. But I think the overall awesomeness of this outweighs the negatives. Um, actually, I love this so much. This is what caused me to go out and buy a second Optimus Prime and a second and an Ultra Magnus figure and the Ultra Magnus armor. So. Again, this is designed for the Japanese one, so this line comes down here, and actually, if you tilt this directly so we're not looking at an angle, these two lines actually line up with the two lines on Optimus, or Convoy, technically, in Japan, but uh, whatever. On the back, it's pretty cool. He's got this license plate, which during transformation actually flips around and hides. If I can get that to flip. There. Like that. It's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't look at the back of it a lot, but that's a really cool detail. Um, and again, this is from Fans Project, if I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, it rolls nice. It rolls fantastic. And it clips onto Optimus through this little peg here and hooks here. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet looking. Um, back here, uh, this did come with the Magnus missiles. Well, the second release of Magnus Armor, which I ended up getting, so I got the extra gun and stuff that went with it, too. Anyway, um, these don't particularly stay on very well. Um, I don't use them a lot at all, actually. They're, they're usually in the back of my G3 trailer. So, uh, now I've talked to death about this thing, I'm going to go and show you how to combine it to... Classics Prime because I really don't feel like transforming the other one before I do a review on him. So, putting him aside. Move this camera here a little bit further back. Sorry if the camera quality is not um, the same as my normal videos. Um, somebody needed my camera because it takes better pictures in, without the flash. And... The, this camera does not do well with uh, flash, but fortunately for videos, I don't need it. So we temporarily swapped cameras. Anyway, 
that's that story. So, first thing you want to do is unpeg this, unpeg this, unpeg this, and this. And then you want to just slide it out, set that aside, lift this off the top. We'll set this aside for now. Then we're going to pull this apart. I'm going to take this, rotate this around, flip it down, pull these apart, set those to the side, grab this, fold it around, grab this, fold it around, pull these apart, be careful not to catch them on these, Push forward and rotate the head up, close this. Um, you'll notice right off that this is actually using um, the faceplate version. Uh, I thought this worked pretty well with this this one. Um, particularly, this one didn't come with any interchangeable faceplates, but um, the second release of Magnus actually came with replaceable faceplates. Like this is the one that came with uh, the Nemesis Prime set, um, except this is the Ultra Magnus version. You can see the white around his eyes. So. Um, I, th I thought it worked much better in this mode than look, so it gave him a different look for Magnus, basically. So, that's cool. You can swap those out. That's neat. Um, so, set that there. These are his hands. Undo this and rotate his hand. Do this, rotate his hand. Set these aside. Now we'll go back to this thing. We want to take out these can't these missile launchers. Slide those over. Take this piece off. Unpeg these. Fold these around. Fold this out. Down. And now for the license plate again. Just flip it around. Fold that. Pop this out and down. So. Now we'll put those aside. Now we'll take Optimus and we'll deattach his weapons. Do, 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 do. And now this is the part I don't like. Um, when you're doing this, you kind of got to rotate his head around, otherwise you will have a hard time getting his head out. But uh, that's that. So putting that in there, we'll start with the feet because they stay on much better than everything else. Um, if you hear a snapping sound, that's perfectly normal, and I have not broken this yet. Kind of fits in there, and snaps into place really loudly. Then this whole assembly comes up and over his kneecap. Same thing on this side. And there you have his awesome legs. Next, I will put on his arms. So these, there's this little cutout here that's designed for these panels here. Um, these have actually scratched the white, the yellow paint right off my arms here. You don't have that problem with the Japanese version because he doesn't have paint on this part of his arm. So it works out better. Um, so that's why I actually went and bought the one of the ones so I didn't have a chip paint Optimus. So I have his arms in like this. And then you take this piece, put it over the chest here. Sorry, you can't see that. So you take it, put it over the chest, kind of snap it into place, and fold these back two things down, and that locks it in. You take this and fold it up inside, too. Place for Magnus's weapon, too. I forgot to mention that. So, now at this point, we have these pieces left. We'll take these and put, snap them on the shoulder. Now they did design this so there's flat pieces right here so you can put Autobot or Decepticon logos depending on the version you have right inside it which is kinda cool. So this is the final piece. It's the crotch piece just folds open and literally friction pins onto his abdomen. And there you have the DIA Commander set. Now, this is awesome. So, he's got uh, some added foot movement, which is nice. He's got 
almost, he has a little bit more limited knee movement just due to the way the armor combines, unfortunately, but um, the rest of his movement, it's not limited. This piece does get in the way a little bit, but not bad. You still have a tremendous amount of posability. Yeah. His arms rotate, however, his bumper here does get in the way with this armor, so you can rotate it almost all the way out. Same thing on this side. You know, he's got his movement. Also, the armor gets in the way a little bit, but he's bulkier. That's to be expected. Hmm. Maybe that's why in the comic books, Ultra Magnus doesn't move a lot and he looks rigid shouldered. Anyway, so these things, uh, and his head rotates on a ball and socket joint. So, what's nice? Take these things and you can pop these onto his shoulders. Actually, these actually fit much sturdier than the Magnus versions. So if I wanted to, these would work really well on display. Um, I don't know why sometimes they work and sometimes they don't on the other one. Oh well. This one looks pretty cool. I usually, these are kind of Magnus's thing on his shoulders, so. Well, he looks really cool like this, so I, you know, maybe. So, and you have this thing, this hunk of trailer left. Well. Pull this thing out, flip this around, flip this around, we put this on these tabs here to lock it together. And then we literally hand it to Optimus as this giant missile launcher. Um, interesting way to use the extra parts, kind of Magnus related. Actually, it reminds me of Cliff Jumper more than Magnus. You know, it's a kind of, I don't know what it's supposed to be. And then, this flips around like this. And he's got this overweight, ginormous laser cannon, um, which his arm can't support. So, it's neat that they did it. Unnecessary, um, well, it's at least something you can do with the extra parts. Or extra, yeah, extra part, really. So, this, not my favorite piece. This is usually standing up behind the guy if I'm displaying him in this mode. Recently, though, I've been displaying this in the trailer mode on the back of the G3 trailer. With this guy. Well, um, there's one last feature I want to talk about, and that's the storage. There's actually a cutout here that matches this, so you can actually plug his gun into the back of his um, thingy bob. This one, if you, it's in uh, cannon mode, can plug into this hole here. Sort of, kinda. And he's got weapon storage. So he's pretty cool, you know. Um, Totally like him. I think it was well worth the uh, money. Love this set. He looks awesome. And that's pretty much it. You know, it's pretty cool. Glad I got it. Um, so if you have any questions about the DIA Commander set, gun included, please uh, feel free to post a comment down below and I will answer that usually in a timely fashion. And if you have any requests for video reviews, uh, you can post down below or send me a, a message and I will do those up for you if I have the figure. Um, if you want to know some of the figures I have, you can watch my uh, collection video. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, also, everything in the video is not everything I have. I have like I think I counted six more boxes of Transformers that are just like all in vehicle form stuffed on top of each other in boxes. I just don't have any place to display them or they're too loose to display. Anyway, I digress. Awesome figure. Awesome add-on. Totally worth getting if you can find it at a pretty decently affordable price. And that sentence did not make a whole lot of grammatical sense. 
Anyway, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I hope you enjoyed the review. And as always, thank you for watching.